Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create templates on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, what are Proxmox templates? So actually a template it's like a pre-configured uh, OS image that you can use in order to create other VMs by a process called cloning okay so to avoid the long process of installing actually a virtual machine you create a template for this virtual machine and in this example i will show you how to do that for windows actually then if you want to create other virtual machines that have the same actually uh, configuration of the other one we create a template and we clone this template in order to create a virtual machine, okay? So let's get started. So as I told you, the first step is to create, for creating actually a template is to create a virtual machine. So we'll be using actually a Windows 10 here virtual machine. So let's go and create a VM. So it's like actually creating a virtual machine. So I will name it, for example, Windows 10 Template. Okay. Here we go. So it's Template, or we can just call it Windows 10. Okay. So we'll go on next. And here for the storage, we have to provide the storage where actually the ISO image exists so me i call it just storage and i will select the windows 10 actually iso so here you can see i'm using windows 10 and the type is actually a windows microsoft windows and i will use here 10 okay <clears throat> i will go next so i will le leave that as the default for the system for the disk, I will just use, uh, for example, 20. I think it's enough. I will go next. For the CPU, I will use two cores. Here we go. Then for the memory, I guess two gigabytes is actually pretty good. And for the network, I will leave it as it is. Okay, here we go. Then we have to confirm everything here i forget something in order for example uh, for the windows to be detected as a disk you have actually so let's first finish this window here so this is our virtual machine here actually in order to install windows 10 you have to actually provide the virtual io drivers okay so I will add them in the hardware here. So I will add hardware. I will add actually CD DVD. And I will actually here provide the storage name. So for me it's called that storage. And for the ISO, I will uh, give here the virtual IO for Windows. Okay. So we can search on the net for this ISO image in order for the desk the IGE desk to be detected by the Proxbox okay so I will add it okay so now I have everything I need in order to install Windows 10 so let's launch it and install it actually so I will start this virtual machine so after that you go to your console and you start your actually uh, Windows 10 VM okay Okay, here we go. You get your uh, Windows setup. So this is the usual uh, installation of Windows 10. So you go next, install now. Okay. So I don't have actually a key, so I will install it later. Okay. So after that you choose the operating system you want to install so I will go for Windows 10 Pro here we go <coughs> 
then you have to accept the license terms then you choose install windows only for advanced so here it has shown me actually the hard disk if the hard disk didn't show up all you have to do is to load the driver here you have to click on this load driver and you have to browse to the DVD that we have actually uh, added to our hardware which contains the virtual IO devices okay so me I don't need that so I will just uh, go next here to install the Windows 10 on this uh, disk virtual disk actually so we will, we, will, we will wait for the process to finish so all these steps can be avoided if you actually configure a template which we will do next actually okay okay so now our virtual machine is restarted okay now so we'll go with the defaults in order to configure our windows 10 machine here we go of course i will not try to make something specific because as i told you this machine will be actually a template so it's better not to actually uh, set it up for any uh, personal things so I'll skip for this setting for now Okay, now our uh, VM is almost ready. Okay, so as it will be actually a template, so this virtual machine we, sh we should only install the software that we want to use for the other virtual machine that will be created from this template. But this template should not contain any user data, password, or keys, and for that, it's better to use a tool that is provided by Microsoft. These tools actually will try to generate a security ID, new security ID for this machine. So before convert it to actually a template, you have to go to your uh, C drive, Windows, System32, and there is a folder called SysPrep. Okay. Here we go and you click on this program here so as you can see system preparation tool or sysprep prepares the machine for a hardware independence and cleanup okay so you have to uh, generate this and for shutdown option I will shoot shut down okay so the process will begin in order to make this machine actually clean for any cloning okay
so as you can see now the machine actually has been uh, turned off so now we can convert it to actually a template so in order to do that it's pretty simple right click on it and convert to a template or you can go here to this menu here more and convert to template so I will answer yes and the process will begin in order to convert this machine to a template so as you can see now even the icon has changed it to reflect the fact it became actually a template okay so now when we want to create a virtual machine that has as a template this uh, Windows 10 machine we can simply clone it okay so let's do that we're gonna right click on this uh, template and we're gonna just clone it and we get actually this uh, wizard here so it's same uh, things so for example Windows 10 01 okay and here there are linked mode but we have to choose full clone actually and we can clone it okay and of course for the target storage we can use the same as source or we can choose another storage if we have it okay so you can see now let's clone it so the machine here will be created and you will see that actually we have avoided the process of installing the Windows 10 from the ISO because we have everything in this template and it will quickly actually uh, run or clone this Windows 10 virtual machine template to another virtual machine okay and of course you can see the process here if you go to the logs you can see the machine is being cloned or the template actually is being cloned so we will wait for it to be cloned you can even uh, double click on this uh, log here to see the process so actually it's transferring the disk from the template to the new uh, virtual machine that will be created actually and the process here will be actually quicker than the traditional one okay so the task has been done okay so we can close this window here we can get rid of our <coughs> logs so of course this template will never be actually started it's just a template but the one that we have cloned here windows 10 01 can be used can be started so as you can see here the windows 10 is being now started and it can be used as in a virtual machine actually and of course here the process will begin uh, because we have used the sysprep utility which allows us to remove any user data password or keys from the template okay that's why it will gives us all the initial setup or config for our windows 10 machine so as you can see here we have uh, the configuration menus as we are actually just logging into the first time to our windows 10 machine okay so that was just a quick video to show you how you can actually create a template on proxmox as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye